Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I have recently uh, jumped on the Alexa bandwagon. Uh, I bought uh, some Alexa products and some, uh, you know, smart plugs for my house. Uh, and so recently I bought a security camera. I bought this CloudCam Amazon Key Edition. Uh, it shoots in 1080p. It's a 1080p HD indoor security camera and it works with Alexa. This camera allows you to do some things that I'm probably not going to do right away. Uh, for instance, I don't have a, a smart door lock for my house. I just have a dumb one where you have to use a key. Uh, but with this, you, you can open your door from anywhere. You can secure in-home deliveries. This is simple to set up and use. It's freestanding or you can mount it under a wall. You can use the CloudCam app to stay connected to your home and access advanced computer vision features. It has intelligent alerts. And basically that means you only get alerts uh, when it matters to you. So I suppose you can pick what alerts you get and you get um, up to 24 hours of free storage. And on the bottom there, which you can't read, but I'm gonna read it, it says it works with Alexa, and that's the main reason why I got this bad boy. So like I said, it works with uh, Amazon Key and uh, CloudCam apps. Uh, it shoots in 1080p. It has infrared night vision. Uh, you obviously uh, connect it to your Wi-Fi. It has a built-in mic and speakers, and it has a 120 degree uh, wide angle view. Let's open up this box and see what this thing comes with. Slide this guy out of here. It's got its regular uh, Amazon with a, well, it looks like a sad face, uh, happy face. It says uh, Amazon on the top of the box. And it says Amazon Cloud Cam right there. Open up the box and it looks, uh, looks just like this. You got your camera uh, secured in here. Pull the camera out and, you know, and you can mount it on your wall like this. You know, or you can, you know, set it up on a table uh, like this. Show you what it looks like here in the back. That's for the, uh, that's the AC adapter. Here's your wall mounting plate. And I suppose this is uh, on the back here, must be the uh, microphone and speaker as well. Uh, we've got the uh, little booklet, the easy setup guide. Uh, the uh, power adapter to plug it into the wall because it does not take batteries. You have to plug it into the wall. And this is the uh, the adapter plate that you screw into the wall. And then you can hang this guy right on it. The only thing left in here is the mounting screws. Take a quick look at these uh, instructions here. Uh, it says uh, in step one, uh, plug in your cloud cam. Plug the cloud cam into a power port and the power adapter. Plug the cable into your power port and the power adapter, then into a power outlet. The LED will pulse between blue and green when your cloud cam is ready for setup. After five minutes, if the LED is not uh, pulsating uh, between blue and green, then you need to use a paper clip and press and hold the reset button for five seconds. And reset button is uh, located right there. As you can see right now, it is only flashing blue. Uh, and it did say, uh, if you remember, after five minutes, if the LED is not pulsating between blue and green, then I have to use a paper clip to press and hold the reset button for five seconds. So hopefully this starts uh, pulsating between blue and green here in a minute. It actually made a audible chime. And uh, not sure if you can tell, but it is uh, pulsating between green and blue. Set up CloudCam using the Amazon Key app. Download the Amazon Key app from the OIS App Store or the Google Play Store. Upon opening the app, you will be prompted to sign into your Amazon account. After signing in, you can begin the setup process. You can also use the app to walk through lock installation. Uh, you can watch delivery clips and for Amazon Key features, such as delivery preference and lock control. Here is the Amazon Key app. Let's get it. It is downloading now. Now let's open it up. It says sign in with Amazon, so you gotta put in your email and your password, and then I'm gonna hit sign in. And hit sign in. Here you can set up a residence, you can set up a car, or you can accept an invitation. Uh, here you can do things like uh, install your lock and camera. Uh, you can add a garage door so you can link uh, the MyQ account for deliveries. 
uh, and you can add an access controller. Uh, you can activate your account for access controller apps. Complete control over your home. You can control your door from anywhere with the key app. Also grant schedule access to family, guests, and service providers. So I'm gonna hit next. Key in-home delivery. In select area, Prime members can receive in-home deliveries and the deliveries are backed by the happiness guarantee. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Before I hit next, uh, you can actually purchase a smart key lock kit uh, from right here. And surprise, surprise, it takes you to Amazon and it's, you know, and it, and it offers you a couple different uh, kits and they actually come with a camera, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, it looks like just the ones on this page range from $225 to $317. We're not going to buy a door lock kit. Right now we are just setting up the uh, camera. And if you're like me and you don't actually have the key set, uh, you can just go straight to the Amazon Cloud Cam and you can uh, download that app. All right, and that is downloading. Welcome to Cloud Cam. You can get activity alerts, uh, two-way audio, home away and the main reason why I got this is it is already Alexa enabled now it's asking me to sign into my Amazon account and if you look at the bottom if you don't have an Amazon account you can certainly create one signing into my Amazon account now it says welcome now let's walk through the uh, at the bottom here it says uh, begin setup uh, cloud cam wants to use my Bluetooth so it's okay and we know it's already in pairing mode because it is already uh, pulsating between uh, green and blue. Down here at the bottom it says a uh, camera is in pairing mode, so I'm going to press this button. It says looking for your camera. Camera found. Uh, now I can uh, name the camera. So we have things, uh, you know, back door, basement, bedroom, den, uh, dining room, family room, front door, garage. Hallway, kids room, kitchen, living room, office, and create custom. Uh, so we're going to call this kids room because I'm actually replacing a uh, baby cam. And I'm gonna hit next. And right now it's looking for networks. Found my network. It says connecting. Registering the device. It says camera setup complete. I'm gonna hit done down here at the bottom. If you had another camera, uh, you could hit add another camera, uh, but I've only got one camera right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. It says Amazon Cloud Cam plans offer advanced features uh, to give you more intelligent alerts and storage. So you can make smart alerts, you can create zones, uh, you have cloud storage, and you can, I guess you can view up to the last 30 days. Uh, I think that with this, you only get 24 hours free, so you have to pay for more. And it supports up to 10 cameras. So I just hit the X, because I'm not gonna buy any of that stuff um, right now. Uh, so it says the Cloud Cam uh, wants to send you push notifications, and if you look up at the top here, it's actually the update in the camera. Uh, so I wanna allow push notifications. And you can see the progress bar is going uh, pretty slow. Uh, it says in order to provide you with the best possible experience, uh, your camera is receiving an important update uh, and it'll take between 10 and 15 minutes. Uh, we're sorry for the inconvenience and we'll have your camera up and running as soon as possible. While you're waiting, enjoy a nice uh, IPA. Oh, it's so good. While we're waiting for the uh, camera to update, the next step here is his positioning your cloud cam. Uh, and these instructions are if you have a smart lock. I don't have a smart lock, but those watching this, some of you may. Uh, so basically what it's telling you is to uh, identify a location to mount your camera uh, to capture the doorway and surrounding areas. It says place your camera within 25 feet of the lock for optimal connection between the two devices. Then it says use the live view feature in the app to verify viewing areas for optimal camera operation. Keep the dongle at a maximum distance from the camera. Note, uh, if you would like to mount the cloud camera to a wall, please see the included mounting instructions. I will be buying a smart lock. Uh, maybe I'll use my stimulus dollars uh, for that. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that like uh, like we're supposed to do. 
And when I do, uh, when I do purchase that smart lock, and I'll put a link to that in the description uh, once I had that video posted. Uh, finally, that took, I think, more than 15 minutes, but that may just be because I'm in my basement and I'm actually far from my router. I don't know, uh, but it definitely took a long time for that to update. Uh, and right now it says it is uh, restarting the camera. It says your camera has been updated. Uh, it says, please wait while it restarts. There we go. It is now just a solid green light. Uh, it was a solid, it was a flashing blue light, and then it went from blue to green, and now it is solid green. I'm assuming that means it has been rebooted. After the camera rebooted, uh, this popped up on my phone. It says cloud, it says cloud cam would like to uh, access the microphone on my phone. So I'm going to say, okay. And now we have live video. The quality looks uh, pretty good, I suppose. Um, you know, I'm in, I am in my basement and I only have a, uh, I don't have any lights on. The only lights is coming from the only light is coming through that sliding glass door behind me. So I'm going to hit this little gear in the upper right hand corner and see what we get here. Basically we get, um, so we can edit the name. So right now it says kids room, which is okay. I can turn the camera on and off. I can turn the audio on and off uh, and I can adjust the notifications. It says the Wi-Fi that I'm on, uh, home away is uh, dis currently disabled uh, and my schedule is disabled and you can set up your zones. And I can decide what type of motion sensitivity I want. So since this is uh, going to be going in my uh, my three-year-old daughter's bedroom, I'm going to want the sensitivity up uh, pretty high. So you can turn it down like this by sliding it. And basically, uh, person size, let's see, that's low sensitivity. It says person sized object up to five feet away. medium high sensitivity and this says it'll recognize a person moving 15 feet away and if I slide it all the way forward it'll says it'll uh, it'll recognize a person moving 20 feet away so what I'm gonna do is where I mount this camera I'm gonna measure how far it is to uh, my daughter's bed and that'll be the uh, setting that I'm gonna set it at it'll probably be you know the 10 foot range so I'm just gonna set it right there um, because that's probably about as far as it's going to be. It's the next day now, uh, and I've actually got a, uh, a little sample clip that I want to show you after I'm out of the camera. Uh, I, got, I have the camera uh, actually facing my wife and I's uh, bed, and, and my wife is there, and the baby's there. And, and you see me actually, the light's turned on in the room at first, uh, and then I turn the light off so you actually see the camera go into a night vision mode. Let's take a quick look at that clip. I think that quality is uh, is decent. It's uh, pretty good, and the switch to uh, the night vision is pretty uh, pretty quick. Uh, you saw when I turned off the the lamp, it just took a couple seconds. Then the screen kind of flashed, uh, and then all of a sudden you can see in the dark. Um, so like I said, I'm pretty uh, pretty impressed. You know, I like the quality of, of the video. Um, I like the notifications that I get. You know, I like how easy it was to load the uh, the app on my phone. Uh, the only thing I wish the camera had uh, was it doesn't have any. Uh, pan, tilt, and zoom controls that you can do from your phone, uh, like my previous camera had. Of course, my previous camera was a baby cam, uh, so you could play music, and you could tilt the camera to the right, tilt the camera to the left, and you could zoom in and zoom out. This is sort of a set it and forget it uh, camera. Uh, you, you know, it obviously does swivel, uh, but uh, but you can't actually move it from the app. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think it's uh, I, I think I think it's a great camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is the first time on my channel, please subscribe. Have yourself a great evening.